Hi, I'm Jeff Glover. I'm a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt under Ricardo Frangia Miller. I've been competing for over 10 years in hundreds of gi and no-gi competitions all around the world. I credit part of my success to keeping an open mind, a modest attitude, and mixing up my training with some of the best Jiu-Jitsu players around the globe. Travel with me as I visit some of the best schools in the nation, getting the lowdown on the latest Jiu-Jitsu techniques the scene has to offer. Welcome to Glover's Travels. Glover's Travels, welcome. Nogi Industries has brought me out here today to the lovely desert of Las Vegas. You know, even though it's hot, there's a few good things about Vegas. One, beautiful women everywhere you go. And two, Robert Drysdale Jiu-Jitsu. Let's go inside, check it out, and meet Robert. Come on, follow me. All right, Robert Drysdale. What's going on, bro? How are you doing? Excellent. Good to see you, man. Thanks for having me, bro. For sure, man, anytime. I grew up in a small city outside Sao Paulo, so there was no Jiu-Jitsu there. I remember hearing about it like 96, and I wanted to start training, but there was no one to teach. So when the first jiu-jitsu school opened in 98, I, th I thought I would give it a try. And when I you know, heard about jiu-jitsu, I was really interested. And after my first class, I was like, this is it, man. This is the most incredible sport ever. I remember my first class, I got tapped by a girl. I thought that was like the coolest thing. Man, a girl could make me tap. I thought it was really cool. I was embarrassed at first, you know, because I had a crush on a girl. My two favorite pictures right here. Worlds 2006, we had like 30 competitors. We won the whole thing. It was awesome. Best year, Braza year. When I won the world as a purple belt, that was a big day for me. You know, that's when I kind of knew, like, okay, this, this is it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna become one of the best one day. This, if I can win a purple, I can win brown. If I can win brown, I can win black. And I just, that's when I started really getting the confidence that I could, I could make it all the way up there. So I just love teaching, man. It's, there's, there wasn't really a point where I decided, oh, I'm going to become a teacher. It was just like something, yeah, I, you know what? I could be that black belt one day. I may not be the best grappler, but I know I can be the best instructor. We got some MMA fighters in here. We got Jason McDonald training at the gym today, John Alessio. I train a lot of UFC fighters. Frank Mira comes in, Forrest comes in, uh, Martin Catman, Jay Huron, John Alessio, uh, Jason McDonald was just here today, uh, Tyson Griffin, uh, Gray Maynard. Uh, I mean, we got a lot of guys coming in here. I try to show them you know, the jiu-jitsu I know, but of course I, I don't have sport jiu-jitsu in mind when I, when I train with them. I, I have, like, I'll, I'll try to show them stuff that will be effective in MMA. You know, a, lot, a lot of stuff that is a very effective in sport jiu-jitsu goes out the window in MMA. And you, I got to be realistic as far as that. I got to show these guys things that will work for them, for their reality, you know, which is different from a submission grappler or a sport jiu-jitsu competitor. Hey, Jason. Okay, Glover Drysdale Challenge Match. Starting off, steering contest. Ready, go. Ah, you win, you always do. I'm here with Sean Spangler. Uh, for those of you who don't know Sean, real quick, let me give a quick bio on you. I'll do it for you, I'll do it. Um, so Sean is one of the most active grapplers in the world. I would say American, but I mean all over active. He's done more tournaments than most people I know, um, including myself. You've done more. You've had more matches than anybody I know, dude. Possibly. Okay. Um, Sean's an, a great competitor. He's a good teacher. Um, you know, if you're if you've been in the grappling game for long enough, you're gonna meet Sean and you're gonna see Sean winning tournaments and beating up young guys, even though he should be in the, like 50 year old division. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. So, Sean, tell us um, how your grappling career got started. Let the people know out there for Glover's Travels, uh, a little bit about yourself. <clears throat> I used to get beat up all the time in uh, elementary school. Mm -hmm. And uh, one day this kid's mother came in and um, she was kind of pushing me around in class. She got mad because her son actually beat me up, but he went home and said that I beat him up and I uh, rear naked choked her. And I didn't even know <laughs> what I was doing. <laughs> the natural rear naked choke? And, like uh, a natural pickup artist. Yeah, Some yeah. people don't need this. 
you know, the tricks, they just they sent me. They sent me down to the principal's office, and the principal was actually a, a big into, like, uh, mixed martial arts, and this was 25, 30 years ago. And um, he took me into his office, and he rear neck and choked me. And he told me to never say anything to my family, but the next day I joined the wrestling team for the junior high school, because I was in fifth grade, so I went and talked to the junior high wrestling coach, and. He said, yeah, you can come on over and just start. You can't compete, but you can, you can wrestle with it. So I started wrestling, and then I wrestled in high school, and then I went to NC State University, and I wrestled there. And At what point did the jiu-jitsu come into play? When did you start doing well, Brazilian jiu-jitsu exactly? I, I had back surgery in uh, 1992, and the doctors told me I could never wrestle again. So I started just you know, lifting, working out, real boring stuff. And I moved to Vegas in 95, and I uh, actually saw John Lewis wrestling, I mean, fighting against the Gracie. I don't remember that fight. Uh, he uh, fought against the Gracie, Gracie in like Extreme Fighting Championship or something. So I said, What's man. What's a Gracie? I don't know. I don't know. It's just a Gracie. That's a joke. Yeah. Just kidding. And anyway, so I went down to his school the next day and um, I, met a, I met John and I told him that I had wrestled and I just started doing the, the um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu there. And I remember guys that had never wrestled before were submitting me so of course i got pissed and uh, so that's pretty much where it started and from there um i wrestled for john for years we did tournaments every weekend in california what is your favorite submission to do i know what it is the people don't know what it is i you know it'd be the it'd be the spangler spin man the spangler spin can spangler we get a demo spin. and you'll probably recognize this one i think i might have learned this from you well, that sounds nice. Oh, yeah, you meant that for me. Nice. Let's do it one more time slow. And talk your way through it. Talk to the camera. Let us know how this is happening. Okay, okay, I'm going to talk. The first thing I got to do is I got to get him leaning up over me so I can reach around and grab his Adam's apple. It's key. You got to grab this thing right here. Is that legal? It's legal. And actually, I like to grab between here and here. See how it's nice and soft here? It's nice and soft, but it gives you a hook. He's got this like hunk of muscle right here, so I just hook right inside there. See that? Now, I'll take this hand right here. I'm going to pop my hip up and I'm going to catch his leg. I'm rotating up on my shoulder. Hey, you're full? Pop up. Beautiful. Spank spin, ladies and gentlemen. The spank spin. I got one more. One more. You play right. I'll do a whole DVD for you, Glover. Now this might be my signature move because as an old man, it's really hard to, to mess with people's legs. So I like this move right here because I can really I can really put the strangle on big guys and little guys. Why you point at me when you say little guys? What's that supposed to mean? You're smaller than me. So anyway, this is called uh. They call it a Bravo, I guess. I just call it, I just call it a submission. Lasso, roll over, pull up, choke. That's my, that's my favorite move. So I start in the front headlock. Lasso, whoops, sorry buddy. Lasso, drive over, post, squeeze. Nice. That's just about how I win my matches because any other way I get beat. He does a lot. Another thing Spank does is, is you'll notice he really gets like side to side. Okay, so if you're trying to do this like here, it's, you're not going to be as successful. You'll see when Spank does this, he's like over here and his head is down low. You see what I'm saying? So you really want to get like parallel to the guy sideways. Hip to hip. Hip, hip, to, to, hip. hip to hip. And then you get the... You can't simple. create the torque. You can't create the torque and um, the guy can pop the elbow off come out. I can't give any more of my secrets away. I'm 40 years old. I don't want nobody knowing. So when I'm competing against them, I don't want them to know what's coming.